What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, we did a lot, and now it is finally time to go up against Misty, the Cerulean City Gym Leader. Now, this is big, guys, because, well, we're finally matching the amount of uh, gym battles we, we initially had going into our old Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. And uh, it's going to continue, guys. It really is, because you guys are seeing it. Three episodes of Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver a day. That will leave us into, I believe, episode 50. So, yeah, we're doing big things. You know that I'm serious about this. Anywho, let's continue on right here. So, in the last episode, we managed to find the missing parts of the power plant. Found them right here in the Cerulean Gym. Got to beat the, the old Nugget Bridge people. Got a Nugget. And we got to, you know, see Mi we got to ruin Misty's date. That's basically what it was. So now, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's gonna be like, "Yo, legend in the making." Since Misty was away, I went out for some fun too. Hey, <laughs> good for you. Okay, so we're gonna be battling Misty. We're gonna be doing some stuff. We're gonna be, uh, yeah, we're gonna be asserting our dominance right here in the uh, gym. So let's go right ahead. Sorry about being away. Let's get on with it. Okay, and as always, we're going to be speeding through this because, well, we got business to take care of. And, well, of course, her Pokemon are strong, and Fluffolt finally matches level 48. So, yeah, we're doing things. We're doing big, big things right here. And, well, let's go right down right here. And let's go ahead and take on another opponent. I don't know her name, but she's going to be looking around, and she's going to be like... Swimming isn't just about speed, it's about the beauty of grace. Huh. The beauty of grace. So, here we go, taking on Cloyster and Charge Beam for the win, increasing our points just like that. And I completely forgot about the Sailor dudes right here, so let's go right ahead and battle these guys. I've been relaxing poolside, so I've got enough strength. Okay, so what kind of strength are we talking here? Here we are taking on Sailor Eddie, coming out with his Azumarill right here. And, well, let's go Azumarill versus Fluffolk. Charge Beam for the win. This is increasing our... Oh, wow. So, yes, we are confused, and we're getting our butts kicked right now. Okay, here we go. For the win. That's how you do it. And, well, who's next? Somebody has to be next. Okay. So that's that. Let's go right ahead and take on this individual right here. Glub, glub, glub. And let's see what we can do. Okay, so you challenge Sailor Parker, and he's going to be coming out with his horsey. Let's go straight forward discharge attack right here. And Seedra's coming out, and, well, water pulses. And... Yeah, we're, we're, yeah we, we are that dumb that we let our Pokemon faint. So let's go with Hercules. Aerial Ace attack. And let's go with a Brick Break for the win. And just like that, we win. Cinder grows to level 54. And it looks like, to me, we're doing some big stuff right here. That's right. Okay, so we're going to be healing up our Pokemon. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we are back. And, well, not only do we heal our Pokemon, but we also got to buy a few items. I was running low on full restores and everything. So, yeah, I don't want to take that risk, especially when we're going to be going up against Misty. So here we are taking on Brianna. And she's going to be coming out with her Sea King, Sea Queen, whatever you like to call it. And, well, here comes another one. And here comes a Discharge for the win. How's it feel to fail? Okay, so it is time, guys. So, I realized this. The last time we were here, we were barely getting everything started with, like, the new intros, a new background and everything, and I was explaining how things were going to go, especially now that, you know, I've recently got myself a gaming computer. You know, I, I know. Gaming computer, guys. Specifically for this, I cannot be too happy, but it's the investment of... You know, it's just an investment that we made just to make this channel better, and, well, here's Misty, and she's gonna be like, I was expecting you pissed. Pest. Wow. I said pissed. It's pest. You may have a lot of uh, Johto gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My water-type Pokemon are tough. Okay. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number 12, I think. Fit no, 13. And we're taking on Misty herself. Mm, 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 mm. And she is going to be coming out with her Golduck. Now, just be aware that some of these Water-type Pokemon have some other capabilities. So, keep an eye out for that. 
Water pulls, you've seen it. It does confuse, and you don't want to be messed up by this, this whole thing right here. So here it is, guys. Discharge attack. Come on, finish it. Oh, nearly increased. Okay, nearly finished it off. Okay, so let's go ahead and increase that, and there we go. For the win, Fluff Bolt. That's right, and well, here comes Quagsire. Now, this Pokemon right here is the Pokemon you don't want to mess with. So, let's see. Let's go with Hercules. We're gonna go, we're gonna take a risk right here, close combat. Earthquake hits us, close combat yet again, and just like that, Quagsire has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Let's see what happens right here with the Shell Bell. Okay, so now she's going to be coming out with a Lapras, but we need to give our Pokemon a little bit of rest. So let's go straight for the Sandstream Pokemon Dark Side. Go with the Stone Edge. That does it. Super effective. How does it feel to fail? Oh, yeah. Usually I have a hard time going up against a, a Lapras right here. Now she's going to be coming out with a Starmie. Let's continue on with Dark Side. All right. Hmm, you're pretty good. Yes, I am. Alrighty. Let's go with a crunch attack. And, of course, we're going to be confused. And just like that, we win. Say goodbye to Starmie. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am. So look at this. Looks like this is it. Mm-hmm. You're really good. I'll admit that you are skilled. Here you go. It's the Cascade Badge. And just like that, guys, we get ourselves the Cascade Badge. Mm-hmm, and it's a memento, and here we get ourselves the TMO3, which many of you guys already know is Water Pulse. It can sometimes confuse your foe. You've managed to, managed to defeat trainers all over, all the way in Johto. I'm sure you, got, have, you can have good use for it. And, well, does Johto have a lot of powerful trainers? Not really, just me. I will, some, uh, I will someday go on my journey to go battle powerful trainers. Anywho, guys, there it is. We have won yet again. And this one is a big one because, well, like I said before, we have officially matched the amount of uh, the amount of victories, or the amount of time that we've uh, we spent in uh, in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, especially in our oldest walkthroughs. So now we're gonna be going through newer adventures for those who have been watching my Heart Gold uh, walkthrough. Now, before we do anything else, we got Tanga Berries, and. Uh, before we do anything else, guys, we want to finish off with one good thing, and that is this. We have failed to go through this route, Route 5. Everything has been turned on, and the funny thing is that you can actually go through the underground path right here. And, well, let's see. Talk to this lady. Many cities in Johto's have long histories. I'd love to visit. And, well, let's see. As you guys can see, there were these cones right here. And, well... I couldn't, I couldn't picture it at all, but look. Look at this guy. Don't be afraid. I'm not a bad person. A place like this attract mean people. They would eventually cause trouble. It makes me mad just thinking about it. Oh, he's looking at me. He's like, that's a Rage of Candy bar. Can I, can I have it, please? And we gave him the uh, Rage of Candy bar, and he's loving it. He's like, how upsetting, but this is so good. Munch, munch. Oh, it makes me mad. Munch, munch. Oh, Ooh, I'm feeling much better. Thank you for the candy. I want you to have this. We get ourselves the TM64, and I don't know what it is. It contains uh, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, and uh, kaboom. Okay, so I'm assuming, I'm assuming it contains explosion or something like that. I don't even know, but okay. So that is that. What's next? Okay, we need to we need to really like move on right here. So. Here we are in the other section of Route 6, but the important part is we have to go through here. And, well, there is a mission that we need to complete. Now, if you guys remember, there is a copycat girl right around here. And if you talk to them, you're going to be like, my daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname the copycat around here. And if you go right here, she recently lost a Pokedoll that a boy gave her three years ago. Ever since then, she's gotten even better at Mimicry. Holy crud. Okay, so that right there is uh, pretty uh, pretty awesome right there. So if you talk to her, she's going to be transforming into us. She's like, hi, I heard that you lost your cherished uh, Pokedoll. If I find it, you'll give me a Magnet Train Pass. 
I'll go find it for you. You think that you lost it when uh, you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what should I do, what you should do, but I'm really worried that if somebody find, what if somebody finds it? Which, you know, it, it, that's probably what it is. So, what we need to do next is we need to go straight to, to Viridian City, or Vermilion City, I should say. So, let's go right ahead and fly over. No, we can't fly over. Holy crud. Okay, so... Mm, I'll be right back with you guys. We're gonna be starting up in Vermilion City. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Viridian City, or Vermilion City I should say, and all we need to do now is go straight to the clubhouse, or the Pokemon fan club, and you'll see that this guy actually found himself a Clefairy doll. Talk to him, and he's gonna be like, I love Clefairy, but I can never catch one. So I'm making do with a Pokedoll that I found. What? The girl who lost his Pokedoll is sad? Okay, could you take this Pokedoll back to the poor little girl? I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my own one day. And there we go, we have found ourselves the Clefairy doll. Now, the next thing we need to do is go back, so... I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Completely forgot about this, guys. So after you get the Clefairy doll, you'll meet Steven Stone right here. He's gonna be like, hi, my name is Steven, the champion of the Hoenn region. Are you sure about that? I seem to remember winning something. Have we met before? That's not possible. All the trainers I have battled have seem to have uh, the same look. Anyway, especially the ones who gave me tough battles. By the way, have you heard of a Pokemon called Latias? I am investigating why Latias, a Pokemon from Hoenn, decided to leave Hoenn and to come here. Latias is a Pokemon that uh, has a lot to do with the Soul Dew, a gem-like orb. Considering the fact that Latias is now in Kanto, it is possible to assume that this has to do with the Soul Dew. Latias is a Pokemon that travels a great distance. It'll be difficult to find without any machine to track, with, track it with, but any trainer will be drawn to it, won't they? Hmm. I must go. May our journeys cross again. Well, would you look at that? Now, I think... Let's see. I could be wrong, but I think it is now in our map as a roaming Pokemon, and there it is, guys. Latias is right there at... Route 7. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Soul Silver, it will be Latios. Yes, there will be uh, episodes where we separate the event Pokemon, the legendary Pokemon, and all that stuff. We will be doing all that stuff, but in the meantime, I'll be right back. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are in Saffron City, and all we need to do now is go straight back to the Copycat's house, and uh, well. We're going to be obtaining something very, very special right here. Something that we desperately need. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to her. She's like, yay, that's my Clefairy doll. See the tear where, uh, see the tear on the right arm is the Sona? That's proof. Okay, I'll give you the Magnet Train Pass as I promised. And there we go. We got ourselves the Magnet Train Pass. And you show it to the train gate to get to the Magnet Train. And the rail company man gave that, uh, or gave that to me when they tore down our old house for the station. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and take a look at the rail or the 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 magnet train. Now it's been a long time coming, guys. We've been wanting to go back to to Johto in quite some time because, well, there's quite a few things that we need to do. And well, he's like, thanks to someone who got the power plant running up and running, the magnet train is now available. Passengers need to go through the gate for an automatic ticket check. And huh. Here's your dad ticket back, and uh, this train is about to leave to Goldenrod City. So let's go right ahead and get back to Johto. The easiest way to get back to Johto now, and well, look at this. Holy buckets, that is awesome. Especially with the graphics now. That's uh, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty great right there. So look at that, guys. Oh uh, yeah. So. There it is. We are going all the way back to Johto. It has been a long time coming. And yes, I, I remember the familiar voice and all that stuff. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Okay, guys. So we are now in Goldenrod City. And, uh, well, we got business to take care of off screen. But I will be back, guys, because, well, we got to complete stuff over in Kanto. So, thank you guys again for being supportive, for being patient, as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.